denying yourself and you're not denying the universe, it's expression through you, and you're denying the people who really would benefit from your art because you're, 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 um, you're allowing the negativity to color your attitude and behavior. And I think one of the worst things you can do as an entrepreneur, but also the worst things you can do as an artist is to adapt to the negative comments or adapt to the people who don't dig your art. A lot of people, uh, they adapt to people that don't dig it and that, that way their art becomes average and it's, uh, I think it's one of the worst things you can do. So never adapt to people who are hating on you or whatever, just be yourself. And that's what I love about you as well. It's like, if you look at your videos, but also in real life, is that you really are who you are and you don't really adapt, you're just really, you're there. And uh, it's so funny, I, when we were in your gym, when you do the exercise, you're screaming, you're yelling, whatever, and then there's the mailman, he's coming, and you're still screaming and yelling, it's just really who you are. And you don't adapt to the mailman, or whatever. it's really who you are, that's what's really powerful, I think, as well. So, any other questions? Yep, over here, Philippe. <coughs> so Philippe, he's, a, he's an amazing guy, he's from, uh, he's from Belgium. And yesterday we had a Dean Jackson on, so... Um, and Dean Jackson, Philippe is a big fan of Dean Jackson. And I love Elliot. And, and he loved Elliot. <laughs> and, uh, but he got, a, he got a selfie on stage with, uh, with Dean Jackson, but you're not going to get one from Elliot. So. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, I heard you talking about love, the love for your family, love for yourself, love for your play business. On one of your videos, I heard you explain the four archetypes, like the lover in yourself, and the king in yourself, and the, what is it, the warrior, and the fourth, excuse me, magician. Uh, the magician, the magician, yeah. Can you please elaborate on who are you when, and how do you switch from one piece of yourself to the other one? And how can I make, let's say, the warrior in myself stronger? Yeah, that's a really good question. The, the first thing I would say, or I'd like to share, is what... Stay standing there for you. King, warrior, magician, lover, idea, where it comes from. Um, those of you who studied psychology, you may be familiar with Carl Jung. Carl Jung was a student of uh, Sigmund Freud, but he was, uh, he was of the mystical mindset, meaning that like his psychology methods revolved around symbology, um, dream interpretation, symbol interpretation, story and mythology interpretation, and, uh, and he recognized a cross-cultural reference or a recurring theme, he would call these archetypes, in mythology, in religion, in philosophy, and even in movies, even in pop culture. We see a lot of these recurring themes. Uh, Joseph Campbell, who is also uh, heavily influenced by Jung, called one of these archetypes the hero's journey. And we're familiar with the hero's journey because we watch movies like Star Wars and The Matrix and uh, someone with Bilbo Baggins, uh, The Hobbit, and things like that. So we're familiar with this recurring motif. Um, interesting thing about the hero's journey is that it's also a recurring motif in our individual lives. So that's an aside. Jung uh, also had another student by the name of Robert Moore who, uh, during the men's movement, uh, maybe like in the 80s or 70s, basically when men started taking back their love, started taking back their spirituality, uh, and, and kind of started dropping the hard shell or armor that we've been taught to carry for so many generations, he realized that men are far more than just uh, what is portrayed in popular culture as, as oftentimes as tyrants, um, aggressive, uh, mean, careless, uh, you know, a lot of shadow examples of what a masculine, a mature masculine is. So uh, Moore uh, dis discovered that we can find balance in, our, in the masculine psyche, we find that balance in the human psyche, by categorizing four general themes of our, of our ego, our psyche, our character. And these four general themes are king or queen, our sovereign capacity, our, our capacity for order, our capacity for generativity or generosity, our capacity for 
for planning for the future, particularly future generations. These are very kingly and, and sovereign characteristics and virtues, right? I got my list here. I wish I had it in front of me. But then you also got the warrior, you got your magician, and you got your lover. And they, and they balance out to create these equal quarters. Your magician is, is, is very much tied to what you guys are doing here today, which is learning, which is your skills, your craft, your... Even uh, the, the magician is also related to objectivity and spirituality, higher thinking, intuition, things of that nature. And we all have that, just like we all have the ordering aspect of the, of the king. We all have the generous, generative, creative aspect of, of, of kingness. We also have the objectivity and, uh, like I described, the wisdom and the intellect of the, the magician that needs to be recognized. We also have the warrior aspect of us, which is, it was, which is what you ask about. So I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to go to the lover, because you also mentioned lover. The lover aspect of us, the lover aspect is often lost through a disconnect with our sensuality. That's the very first thing that I'd like to share because that's, a, that's one that I think can heal us all, is, is getting in touch with our feelings, right? So we, we're in balance when we can't feel sad, when we can't cry, when we can't laugh ecstatically, when we can't find ourselves able to get angry when we should get angry. You know, some of us are, are so dis dissociated that we're ambivalent most of our lives, and that's a, that's a wound in the lover category. When we heal our lover, we have the ability to, uh, to love, to love ourselves enough to experience the sensuality of life and share sensuality with other people, meaning sexuality and love in that way, but also communion, community, you know, various different types of uh, intimacy with self and other. And then the warrior, which is, is kind of the opposite of the lover in many ways, but they need each other in order to balance. Your warrior aspect is very much uh, related to boundaries and creative aggression. The type of aggression that arises in a balanced and mature warrior is the type of aggression that helps us want to protect children. You know, um, that, 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 that feeling that... Uh, it's our responsibility to do right for people who can't take care of themselves. Uh, the, discipline, the, the discipline associated with the warrior also makes us get up every day to do the thing that we set out to do, especially if the sovereign aspect of ourselves has a vision. You get up every day, well, that vision is important, but you get up every day because you said you were going to. And that's what a warrior does. He does what he's supposed to do, whether he likes it or not. Because he's so 